Hello everyone, this is Outrun again. We are back for another video. Today I uh, will show you how to import a car from Astro Corsa, uh, or in that case is Assetto World. The website is astroworld.com. Uh, that's basically a huge directory for mods in like for Astro Corsa. Um, so to start off, you want to head to car mods um, and like find a car you want. I already found mine, which is that Porsche 936C. You click on modifier, generate link. You wait. You when it's done, you click download link and you click download. I already have the car downloaded, so I won't download it again. But that's what you do. Now, you want to get your car into a folder. So, I got mine here on that um, folder here. You want to extract here. And that's basically everything you have to do for the preparation, you then need what's called um, 3D seamed, 3D seamed, ED3, like uh, 3D seamed 3, it's uh, a paid software, but you have 20 days for free, uh, basically. Um, you want to click on import, find your car, get to Aceto Corsa KN5 files and open the biggest one. That will be your car. Once that car is here, you will want to create what I what I like to do is create a OBJ folder so that everything is in here. And you want to go to tools and texture map conversion. You go select PNG and OK and you go to that OBJ folder. You click OK. That will convert every texture of the car from DDS to PNG, which will enable enable Roblox to open them, actually. Once that done, you click on Export and Plugin Export. And you just click on Wavefront OBJ and uh, Save. You press OK. And you should have your car you can go in your folder, make sure you have it. Once you have that, you can close 3D themed and open a studio place. Once you open that studio place, you can click on import 3D here on home and import your car. That would take a bit of time because you, the Roblox has to read everything. But once that's all read, uh, you will have that. You can see here the car has the textures on it. So that's good. You can also verify it if the any of these have like a little triangle, yellow like triangles. It will say either that's because it cannot read its texture or because it has too many triangles. Uh, the maximum triangle count is, I believe, 10,000 or 20,000 uh, per object. So if an object is higher than that, than that limit, it will get decimated by Roblox and we have shading errors. Uh, I will not show how to fix shading errors today, but I will show them like how to do it in another video. But once that's done, you click on import. And you wait for Roblox to get your, the car into your place. It can depend on how big the car is, like how much triangles it has. There you go, that's the car. So we have the car all textured up. Uh, one plugin I like to use for when I uh, do my cars like that is uh, I use um what is called i forgot 
model resize plugin. There you go. You select your car and you can just drag it up. And that's like, uh, instead of scaling without knowing really how, how big it has to be. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, you can just uh, like scale the car and it has, as you've seen, it's like multiple set sizes. Now what you want to look out for is if your car has camber, you want to make those wheels flat, flat on the ground. Because if you have any camber, the HSC will not work. Uh, it will work, but your wheels will wobble. And you may be asking, yeah, but on the website, I saw the car had other liveries. Then what you do is you open your folder, you open your car, you go to skins. And let's say how I want that WSPC one. You go to it, and if it has that UV map, so some of them does not like do not have it. Some of them do, and if they do, you can get those UV maps, and you just open it. So oh, let me do that again for you. Um, so you just open it. What I do is I have GIMP. That's called GIMP. That's a like Photoshop or something like that. It's the same same the same stuff. It's free. Uh, you Cush those two and press validate. And now that you have that, you could press file export and whatever you want, you export to PNG, export. There you go. And now what I can, what, what I can do is I can select that, press add image on texture ID. Let me do that again. So texture ID, Add image, choose file, you get to your car, and here, that's the B one that I just exported as PNG. And it will load, and there you go, that's another, um, another livery. You can either copy and paste into the other ones, like that. Or you can just scroll down to your like one of your last textures and click on it. It would do the same thing, but me, I just do it like that because oh wow, that's a big part. I just do it like that because it's uh, I have too much textures loaded into that car. But once that's done. Oh. Okay, once that's done, you want to select your car, select everything in it, and go to, uh, I like to do it to like smooth plastic, double side if you want, you can, you're not, uh, that's not needed, but some parts will need double side. Like, so that's why you cannot see through. That's what double side does. Uh, you want to go and uncheck can collide and check encode. And you can also search for blur. If any of your wheels have blur, that will like be so sort of thing that will cover your rim. That's for Astocorsa for blurring your wheels. But in Roblox we don't need that. Um, so I uh, you just did it. What's called blur. And there you go, that's a Assetto Corsa import, fully textured. Then you can just go and watch that how to HSC your car video I made before. And this is how you HSC a car, basically. How do you HSC or not HSC, that's how you import a car and then HSC it. There you go. Hope that helped a lot of you that may wonder how you did it. Uh, I will put links in the description of everything I use in the video. And yeah, see you for the next video. I will show you how to put sound suits in the HSE, I think. And 
Yeah, see you for the next video. Ask any questions you want in the in the comments. I will answer. And uh, have a good one. This was Outrun. And see you.